Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And I'm happy to say that I am a guest designer for Viva Las Vegas Stamps for the month of April. And I'll have two projects for them this month. And I'll post a link to the blog in the description below where you can check out close-up pictures of them and also links to the stamps I used as well and all that other good stuff. And for my first project with them, I'm doing paper marbling with nail polish. And I first saw this technique, I want to say last year or maybe the year before on Aaron's YouTube channel, which is Imperfect Impulses. And I'll post that link in the description below as well. And these are the first three I first tried, just the background, the nail polish itself. And these are the three nail polishes I used, or I think I used a glitter, a glitter one. And I... You also use like those plastic cups, not the red solo cups, but like the party cups and water inside with water. And then I poured the nail polish in the water and then I slowly put a piece of cardstock cut to ATC size inside the water and then pulled it up. And your fingers will get stained, so I suggest wearing gloves. I kept forgetting to do that both times. And also, you know, nail polish does have a smell to it, so I suggest doing it outside or opening a window. So I, after I did these nail polish backgrounds, they sat around for a while, and then when I got asked to do the guest, to be a guest designer, I pulled them out to see, you know, if I can stamp on the background, and. I did, you can. I used stayed on black ink pad because it's a solid ink. I don't, didn't want to even want to try using a VersaFine ink pad or even a Memento because it would probably wipe off the nail polish background. So then I finished it off. This one I used the Albert Einstein and a sentiment. In the background for here I used a brick background stamp and a number stamp. And I colored all the images with Prisma color pencils and blended them. And this one I used the Chevron banner stamp and a flamingo stamp. And then this one says, "Have you hugged your idiot? Have you hugged an idiot today? Me either." From here. And then. This one, it's a cat. I tried using stamps that I haven't used yet in my stash for the focal image. And also, um, sentiments. I want to feel guilty, call your mother. And then you see the glitter on this one as well. So once these worked out, I knew I can do it. I decided to do more because I want to do a step-by-step -step on how to do it. So on the blog, there's a step-by-step -step pictures on how I did this. And I used two more nail polishes than what you see here. And instead of using a plastic cup uh, or a paper cup, I used a cake pan filled with water. And the cake pan you can get at Dollar Tree. That's what I used. And because it will get ruined from the nail polish. Um, and I suggest, you know, don't go buying the expensive nail polishes. You can get them at Dollar Tree as well. These happen to be free samples that I got from PinchMe.com or Influencer.com when I was on a, um, a campaign with them. So they were free for me, but you can, you know, use cheap nail polishes. So I did, like I said, I showed step by step on how I did these, and I did these outside, but when I came in after I was done, they were still had an odor, so I had to open a window. So I did four ATCs and one postcard, because I wanted to use that image, because, you know, it reminded me of tie-dye, this technique, and he looked like a hipster, you know, a hippie dude. So. That's this one, and then again I used the brick background and the teeny and the tiny heart right there. See you on the flip side or on the flip side, 
And again, all images I use, I colored them with Prismas and I blended them with baby oil and a Q-tip. So that's that one. So this one. All my heroes wear underwear on the outside. This sentiment I used before. I just love using that one with the superhero stamps. And this one's a martini background. My next house will have no kitchen, just vending machines. This one turned out really cool. And I mounted all the um, focal point images with foam tape and then glued all these sentiments down. Well, these two, the next two sentiments I've used before as well. I'm not insane, I'm crazy with the side of awesome. And then if you have crazy friends, you have everything. So those are the ATCs and postcard, and they were really fun. And like I said, all the links will be in the description below, and check out my blog post, and thanks for watching.